So how do you grow your YouTube channel from zero to 1,000 subscribers? I'm gonna be totally honest with you. In my entire YouTube channel lifespan, it took me about five years to hit 1,000 subscribers. Now, don't click away quite yet. The reason why it took me five years to get to 1,000 subscribers was because I simply wasn't taking it seriously enough and never really focused on my channel completely. About four or five months ago, I really buckled down on my channel and started posting consistent quality content and eventually I hit the 1k so even though it took me five years it really took me about five months to really push my channel towards the 1k mark I don't want you to take five years to hit your first 1,000 subscribers so here are my top tips to help you grow to 1,000 subscribers fast so tip number one have your title thumbnail and tags all be on point if you take anything away from this video take this tip it is the most important and it changed the game for my videos but pay attention to your title thumbnail and your tags they all work in harmony for you to get that click and to get discovered on YouTube so the tool that I use to strategically come up with titles and tags and thumbnail ideas is vidIQ and primarily the feature that I use the most on vidIQ is the keyword search tool so how I use this tool is I basically put in a potential video title or video topic or idea and the keyword search tool pretty much tells me all of the related keywords and all of the words and phrases that people are searching for online it also gives me the level of competition for the keyword as well as how many people are searching for this keyword per month now this was a really powerful tool and you can clearly see it demonstrated in my desk tour video as well as my iPad Pro video those two I really doubled down on the keyword research and they have done so well on my channel um, compared to all my previous videos that were only getting like 100 200 views and on the topic of doing keyword research you should also create videos that have searchable titles so things that people are actually searching for so taking my iPad Pro video for example I knew that people were searching for iPad Pro 2020 unboxing because it was new and it just came out so in my title I legit put iPad Pro 2020 unboxing and then I threw in other related terms such as aesthetic and ASMR and that video has just popped off so searchable titles and searchable tags is the way to go and then in terms with your thumbnail I've realized that less is more so don't make your thumbnails really busy make sure it has like a simple picture or background and like the text is kept at a minimum and so one trick that I like to do is zoom out when creating the thumbnail so that I'll see it at like 20% versus 100% and kind of see if it'll catch someone's attention when it's that small because thumbnails are super small on YouTube so you want to make sure that even though it's really tiny that the viewer is still intrigued by the thumbnail and can see what the text is so my second tip for growing your subscribers is to steal like an artist and what I mean by that is yeah sure maybe some of your favorite youtubers already filmed let's say like a room tour or something like that but you could take that same content but spin it and make it your own there's actually a book on this it's actually called steal like an artist look at all of your favorite youtubers or a youtuber that you really look up to to and are inspired by and want to create similar content like this creator and just take their content and make it your own I don't really believe in original ideas to some extent everyone copies everyone the only part that really makes content unique is the artist putting their own spin and their own personality into it which makes the work unique so my third tip which is also another power tip is to join support groups it was another game changer in my strategy and this time around I joined two support groups that were very active and I made a lot of friends and collaborated with a few other creators through these support groups and honestly it really boosted my engagement as well as my subscribers and I get this question a lot but how do I find these support groups simple answer Facebook groups is the way to go there are so many support groups on Facebook you just gotta join different ones and see which groups you vibe with the most and if there isn't a Facebook group that you necessarily like you can also turn to your close circle of family and friends they are truly your number one fans already so before I was even in these support groups I would text my videos to my friends or my family and they would share it and it was a great way to get genuine comments and likes on my videos so my fourth tip is to post consistently I feel like 
this is a tried and true statement for anyone who is creating content online. So the standard that people usually follow is one video a week. Some people do two videos a week, three days, four days, or even a daily vlog. From my experience, when I was trying super hard to grow my channel, I experienced the most growth when I was posting once a week. And I did it for a solid four months before I had to take another break. And I probably gained about three to 400 subscribers within that time. Until this day, I don't really know how because during that time I wasn't really using the keyword search tool yet, but I was still growing. And I think a lot of that has to come from posting consistently and telling YouTube that I am an active channel. And I think over time, YouTube started recommending my videos to other YouTubers or other people who are searching similar content. So I'm taking that as proof that when you post more consistently, YouTube will most likely start recommending your videos to other creators. So originally I was gonna end with four tips, but I'm gonna leave you all with a bonus tip 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 number five so after you post your video one thing that I like to do is YouTube search the title of my video right and then you're gonna see multiple videos from other people that either talk about the same thing or something similar so what I do is I'll start actually watching those videos and leaving comments and engaging in their videos and give them feedback and like give them compliments and stuff and then also mention that hey I posted a similar video and would love it if you checked it out or something like that now this tip is to be used sparingly because it can come off as spam so maybe I would limit it to like three or four creators where I would comment on the video and letting them know that I made a similar video and that um, it would be awesome if they would check me out and stuff. After messaging those three or four creators, I'll just leave genuine comments on the rest of the videos without doing any self-promotion because the last thing you want to do is seem very self-promo-y and like scammy and stuff and like you, you don't want to do that. You want people to visit your channel because they genuinely want to and are interested in your comment, not just because you told them to or they feel like they need to return the favor. I just feel like not even just with YouTube, but with even like Instagram or something, I feel like we need to spend as much time engaging with other people as well as creating. So if you're just posting and ghosting, man, like no one's going to want to see your video. You know, you want to build that relationship, that community building. It's super important to not only get new people and to bring them into your community but to also have them stay in your community because when you upload videos in the future those are the people that are gonna come back for your videos keep building your community keep engaging but also keep maintaining and nurturing the community you already have all right friends so those were my five tips for growing your YouTube channel from zero subscribers to 1,000 subscribers so if you like the tips and you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more content just like this and also let me know down in the comments are you trying to grow your YouTube channel and also what tips and strategies are you using to grow your subscriber list sharing is caring and I would love to hear all of the things that you are trying or have tried lastly I want to thank you all so much for watching this video and I will We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.